name is Joy Richards, and I'm an artist here with PCP. And um, a little about myself. I love to bake. I love classical music. Um, it really calms me down, and when I want to just be centered, I listen to some classical, some Mozart. Um, I love old movies. Those are like my hobbies and pastimes. I was approached by some friends who are starting this, and um, they want me a part of this journey, and I, I want to be a part of it as well, so here I am. I started writing music when I was 10 years old. Um, it kind of came out of my need to kind of bring out what I was reading and like devotions, because I really didn't like reading my Bible. I didn't like that whole, um, you know, devotional reading and then having this schedule to follow. So I would write music to kind of help me digest what I had been reading. And then, um, yeah, and it just helps me get through the time, pass the time easier. When I was 12 years old, um, we got a piano. It was given to us by a friend of my mom's and she felt like she just needed to give it to us. So thank you. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was just like this really old piano over a hundred years old and it smells incredible. I love the smell of like wood and like old things. And I think ever since we've had it, it's called my name and I like totally feel like I need to like write when I'm sitting on it. And it's probably one of my inspirations for just writing music is literally that piano. Um, how I want people to feel when they listen to my music. Um, that's a loaded question, <laughs> but I will attempt to answer a part of that. Um, I want people to feel like no matter like what they're going through, that my music is like a safe space. So if you want to feel happy, you can do that through my music. If you want to feel sad, and as of late, it's kind of, those are the vibes right now. It's it's more, it's honest and it's kind of harder stuff because I'm just going through like harder things in my life. If you want a, a safe place to just, to just kind of decompress or maybe even fall apart, I want someone to be able to listen to my music and feel like it's perfectly okay to just fall apart. Like when no one's watching, just collapse and like have like that space where you can do that and then hopefully, I mean, I'm still going through the journey and I hope that um, ultimately, like I don't stay in that place, obviously, but um, the hope is that, um, you know, other people, they don't have to stay necessarily in that, that dark place, but you know, that they would grow and hopefully my music will grow as well. So we'll see where it goes. <laughs> Right, okay, well, Fighting in the Dark <laughs> is probably the most fitting piece of uh, music lyrically and like just even like when I first listened to the instrumental, like I was just, it was just like those words just kept like popping into my head. Um, it's because like you wanna keep going. I mean, we're brought up in the church to like say like, to believe that, you know, like, yeah, you're in the world, but you're not of it, and the world's a dark place, but you're supposed to be the light. And so when you feel like you're not the light or you can't be the light, like, how do you still, like, what is your purpose? How do you still find, you know, who you are in a dark place when you feel like you're no longer the light? And so fighting the dark is that, like, you're fighting and you're, you don't want to give up, but like, you you really do want to give up, so you're literally fighting in the dark. So it's just kind of perseverance, but it's kind of like a question, because I think the nature of the song is like a back and forth between two people. And honestly, for me, it's the question isn't really answered in the song either. Like it's still kind of an open-ended, it's still an open-ended question.